in a land not so different than our own, the Heartswell Domain stands tall against the armies of darkness, illuminated by a saintly individual. No darkness could pierce his light. Until the Great War, upheaval to the Domain began, a battle between the forces of darkness and bringers of light. Amidst the battle, the brave, saintly individual thrusted into a dimensional portal, left to face a new world alone. Last time on Lavacraft, Saint Lavathar found himself thrust into a new world. Lost and confused, our hero explored this new land. Cut off from the domain powers of his world, he seeks out a new place to pray and gather strength, building a place of refuge on a small note of power. Hey guys, this is Lava Thor and welcome back to Lava Craft. Uh, we got some big plans this session. First off, uh, the, the power node here is very weak. I can feel it. We've been accessing it, praying, studying. Uh, it's just not strong enough to give me anything substantial. So I have sought out a much newer, um, stronger domain far, far to the east. Unfortunately, it's past the border wall. So we need to get some diamonds and expand the border wall. So let me grab some tools and we can go on a mining session. So that's going to be fun. Probably like two hours of mining, but let's do it. Woo! I thought I could take this time to kind of explain domains, their powers, and why they're so important to me. So in my previous world, when I lived in Hartswell, we would uh, have temples and sanctuaries built over these concentrated areas. So normally in the world, the world has slight magical properties throughout all of it. Sometimes these powers coalesce and concentrate at certain areas, kind of like natural forces. Well, we're able to build places of meditation uh, that would be able to let us gather these powers a little bit easier, these domains. But they were different, different powers, different regions. You'd have maybe the domain of fire over a desert where you tap into that and you become stronger. Maybe the domain of air on, on a temple and high in the mountains that make you more fluid and swift. Uh, so I'm hoping that we can find all these domains and tap into them and to be able to gather the powers. And that will give me the strength and power to be able to get back to where I was before get back to the Kingdom of Hartswell and stop whatever happened to me previously. Uh, this is so important. Uh, the first domain I, I believe is going to be sort of a domain of life that I found that is far to the east and that's going to be more centered around like swamps and plains and stuff like that and hopefully I can build the right places to meditate and gather and seek out this concentrated power. But for now, let's get back to my mining session and see where we are with diamonds. All right, there's a few guys on the oh, side here. Right back, as soon as I make it to this. <laughs> you going for it. Well, this is oh, weird. Absolutely. There's like a, f a little waterfall here and it's like at the like, a lava pool and it's just full of like a dozen tropical fish. Hmm. Right. They must be spawning up there and then falling down. Oh, yeah. Every day, baby. They dropped a head. <laughs> He dropped a head. Oh, yeah. you mean the shulker? No, he dropped like his actual head. Okay. Bunch of diamonds. Give me all that iron, please. Wow. Okay, we actually have like a second set of armor. We may. Well, I don't have an enchanted armor, so. Oh, well, yeah, I can pass you some <laughs> of this then. <laughs> and last but definitely not least where's it at hey. 
Nice. Building just became a lot easier. Moving became a whole lot easier. Yeah. Oh okay. no. Well. <laughs> oh. Um... Oh, my... <laughs> well, that sucked. <laughs> I had two stacks of diamond ore on me. I think. <sighs> Okay, I was like 2,000 blocks, I think, south and like 2,000 blocks east, right on the edge of the border. Let's grab some gear and let's head back there. Let's just let's just get the diamond ore, hopefully. Hopefully a creeper didn't blow it up. And that's all I care about, those two stacks of diamond ore. Get that stuff and then we're going to quit mining. We're going to be done mining. I've been mining forever. Okay, I'm here. Let's pop that. Chanting golden. Let's go in. <laughs> <laughs> He's just popping the golden apple well, there's mobs against the creeper everywhere. that's already exploded. Well, no, there's like 12 skeletons. I think most oh, of the okay. stuff's here. Because it was like a big open spot. Say. Oh, baby zombies. Okay, I think we came from this way. Oh, this they're way. killing me. Stop it. Stop it. I know. Oh, no, I'm dying. Oh, this there's so much stuff very... everywhere. I don't have it all. Guys, stop killing me. I don't want to die <laughs> again. I don't, I don't die again. I'm quitting. Does it reset the counter? <laughs> what? Does it reset the counter if you die? If you picked up all no, the stuff. No, it continues then, yeah. five five minutes. Well, the stuff I dropped, it would reset, but anything I haven't. Okay, I got two stacks of diamonds. Uh, mm -hmm. No armor. I got my silk touch pick. <laughs> Creepers are the most deadliest mob. I know. They're all there's all oh, the skellies. No, this the baby zombie. What the crap are you doing here? I gotta take this guy out. I knew he me. I know it has to be on one of these islands, but I just don't remember where. Hey, you're dead. Well, that's the thing. I know that. that over oh, it's there. over here. It's over here. I, I don't. No, no, no. Oh wait. Oh, this one yeah. right here. Yeah, yeah. A giant slime, like everything's trying to get me here. Yeah, that creeper's gone. Now I can see the other one in the distance. Nice. No, 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 no. What's your. Oh, I think he just blew up the rest of my stuff. I got double banged. Wombo combo. Okay, I think I got the important stuff though. Let's get out of here before I die. Okay, let's see. Let's. Um. <laughs> okay, I think I got all the diamonds. I got my two pickaxes. No, I got one pick. I got the good pickaxe. I didn't have any good armor, so I lost. A deficiency of five pickaxe and a normal pickaxe. But I got all the diamonds and my silk touch. I got the important stuff. Let's get out of here. It was a successful That's good. mission. Woo! Uh, <laughs> I think I got all the diamonds. Two stacks and 14. It went from a successful mining trip to a successful <laughs> diamond, di diamond rescue. <laughs> rescue mission. Oh, man. Well, guys, we did it. Uh, we managed to get all the important things. We got the the two stacks of diamond blocks and we got our silk touch pick we lost a few other things but nothing important it was a successful recover uh, i still need like another stack but i'm gonna see if i can make it work and maybe get someone else to help out with the border expansion and get to my new area drop any okay uh four stacks and 57 let's pull up the old calculator 64 times four plus 57 
Um, 313, a little on the low side. Not 350, but not below 300. So a little on the low side, but it'll do. Okay, we're back at the original temple. Let's head into here. We haven't been here for a while, actually. Down here, I think it was. Yeah, here it is, this thing. You put a diamond block into it and it'll expand that barrier wall by 10. Okay, I gotta do this piece at a time. We had 60 diamond blocks. Some of them were from just previous minings here and there. A little bit from a first mining session, which was a lot smaller. And then that two stacks of diamond ore that we turned into over 300. We need to get to about 5,000 wide, but if we're a little bit off, I think we'll still be okay. As long as we can get to a part of the island, we can unlock the rest of it later. And here's the very last block. 4,972, close enough. Let's head off and see what our new area looks like. I got some boats, some gear, and some food and stuff. Let's just uh, get in a boat and start going. We need to head really far east and a little bit south. Uh, it's basically all ocean until we hit a savanna. And then after the savanna, it's right to our place and we're good to go. Okay guys, we're almost here. It's just right over this last river, our new home we're gonna be building at. Here we go. And then, here it is guys, a new place. I can already feel it. Can't you feel that? Probably not. There's some sheep here already. Okay guys, here we are. It's looking pretty nice. It has this cool little feature here. Let me go for you can a bit. That's pretty cool. We only got about half of it unlocked at the border wall. But I really like this little underground area. It's big enough for us to expand into. Yeah, this is looking very nice. This feature, I might try and expand this all the way out to the water source. This is cool. Okay, I'm climbing up to the highest point here. Let's get a good view of what we got going on. If we look here in the bowl, I, we got to get that unlocked. But that's where I want to build the temple uh, to draw out the power. I can feel it's very strong here. I got to finish unlocking the border wall, but then I want to build a wall around this dome too. I think that'd be really neat, and I think it's com it's it's a very nice spot. We got we got lots of animals. We got chicken, sheep, pigs. I saw cows along the way. We can see for quite a while if we look out. Um, it is a very interesting spot and we need to get a nether portal set up to connect to our other base and then I think what I want to work on next is getting villagers and getting a villager trading hall set up so I can have good tools and chance and all that and then we'll start working on the temple in this region so a couple of things to start first hi Mr. Sheep uh, but we're gonna have to save that for next time so definitely tune in next time for when we do villagers and a villager trading hall it's gonna be amazing for now, that's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to continue the legend of St. Lavathor and see if I'm able to make it back home.